In ServiceNow, you now have the possibility to interact with your customers via TeamViewer directly out of the ServiceNow console. To create support sessions, expand the TeamViewer remote control option below the incident information. To support in the most suitable way, TeamViewer offers three possibilities to initiate support sessions for attended, unattended, and sessions using augmented reality. For an attended support session, click on Create Service Case. A separate window pops up. Before you can start the support session, you have to connect ServiceNow with your TeamViewer account and grant a few permissions. These operations only have to be performed once. A connection with TeamViewer is now established and the integration is ready to be used. Once you created now the service case, select Share Session Code. You can now send the published link to the customer via email in a predefined template. The administrator can create and configure these templates. After selecting a template, the email body will be populated with the text and will include a customer link. All other important information like the customer name, email address, and the supporter's name will also be automatically added to the email. From release version 1.1, the TeamViewer integration supports problem module as well as change and service request modules on top of incidents. This workflow is always the same, independent if you are in the problem, the change, or any other menu. By clicking on Online Service Cases, you get a list with all active service cases as well as their status for the logged in user. This enables and allows agents to work on multiple issues in parallel and easily check which end user is available for a connection. Here's a quick look at what happens on the caller's side. The caller received the link via email from the supporter. After the link is clicked, a remote control session will start directly. The custom Quick Support module opens now. After the issue is resolved, the supporter can close the service case and leave a supporter note. For unattended connections, where no confirmation from the user on the far side is required, a connect symbol is shown for configuration items which were registered for unattended access. The registration can be made based on the TeamViewer contact list or by registering as reach device. To create sessions using TeamViewer's Augmented Reality Product Pilot, the flow is initiated by clicking on Create Pilot Invite in the Incident Information. Again, a session is created code which can be shared with the end customer either via SMS or by email. Once the end customer clicks on the link, a TeamViewer pilot session with the expert is established and the problem can be resolved using TeamViewer's AR features. After the issue is resolved, the expert can close the service case and leave a supporter note. The connection report below the incident shows the viewer the latest connections. Simply click on Refresh. Keep in mind that this section only shows the connection made for the specific module. Additionally, the TeamViewer connection report shows you company-wide all connections that were done in the past for attended and unattended connections. In version 2.0 of the Enterprise version, TeamViewer has introduced the support of ServiceNow's Agent Workspace. This enables ServiceNow users to use all TeamViewer functionality out of their customized agent workspace, including attended connections for remote control and AR, unattended connections, and the view of online service cases. Also, the activity done with TeamViewer in the incident scope is tracked in the activity log of the incident. For further information about the integration in ServiceNow, simply click on Support within the TeamViewer menu. This will forward you to our TeamViewer community and a more detailed user guide.